What's up everybody? Welcome to the very first episode of Draw School. I am super excited to have finally started this channel where I plan to teach you guys how to draw many things, starting with the human body, and I want to take these lessons all the way up to teaching you guys how to make money with your art. So thank you so much for tuning in and let's get started with my first video where I will be showing you how to draw the face in proportion, which means how to fit all of the human features in one head. Cool? Let's go. So proportions, what are proportions? Making the facial features the right size so that your head looks correct. So I grabbed this picture from Pinterest so that we can talk about that. So when I start a face, usually I do a circle for the dome and then I draw a line on the middle just so I can keep the two sides equal. Now you wanna figure out the bottom of the chin. You start from the sides of the circle, you draw like a V shape. Next we have to figure out where the eyes go. So how you do that is you go to the top of the head and the bottom of the chin. And you wanna figure out the middle of that, right? So from this line down to this line, where is the middle of that? And I'm pretty sure it's like right there. Well, we know it is because that's his face, right? And then to figure out where the nose goes, you go from the eyes to the chin and you find the middle of that. So like right here. To find the mouth, you figure out the middle from here and here. So the bottom of the nose to the chin. And here's the trick to figuring out how wide your mouth should be. So you go to the eye and you split it down the middle, make a line down, there's a the corner of the mouth. Split the eye, go down, there's a the corner of the mouth. So to find the ears, we'll have to put some eyebrows over his eyes. So if we draw an eyebrow there, an eyebrow there, some mean eyebrows. <laughs> draw the ear you start the ear up here and you go down to the wings of the nose what are the wings of the nose if you draw the nose like this that is the wing of the nose and that's the map of the face so now i'm going to draw a couple of faces and then we'll talk about those Okay, so I drew some heads. Let's see if they are proportionately correct. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. When you draw the eyes, a good way to know if you are putting the eyes in the right spot is to draw another circle in between the eyes. So you should be able to fit an eye in between your other eyes. That's why you see me drawing three circles like this when I'm drawing him. So that was one thing I forgot to tell you guys earlier. She's more of a three quarter view, by the way. I will talk about that in my next video. Bottom of the chin, top of the head. So that would be here. That works. Eye, 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 see? So three circles. Now her ears fall a little bit higher. And the reason for that is that her head is forward tilting a little bit. So she's more facing down, which makes your ears go higher on your head if you're facing regularly forward. And this guy, Mustachio, <laughs> I gave him a name. All right, dome, down the middle, chin, top of the head, half of that, right there, half of this, right there, half of this, right there. Cool, and we know the V, ears here, and here, I. All right, see, drawing characters in proportion from reference. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is how to use the circle in the V to make your characters different or different sizes, I should say. So let me grab him and pull him to the side. So now what I'm gonna do now is add some weight to him. I will also teach you guys Photoshop at some point, just, just as a heads up for the future. Let's say you wanted to make this guy a heavier guy. Now when you want to make a heavier person, from that circle, the V that we start here, 
you want to do with that is now take it to the sides like so we have now added weight to this character just by making the lines on the side of the circle more outward now let's say we wanted to make him a big muscular guy Let me copy him one more time so he was already pretty muscular here but let me show you like super superman chin and when you think muscular you want to think like straight edges strong square square chin so right from that same circle go down all right so you have the strong see he already had pretty strong chin but he you can tell that he's a, a younger younger guy young man this guy still young man but you thicken the neck up a little bit and the trapezius muscle Back, maybe give him a five o'clock shadow because he's tough and just by changing those lines these two lines and these lines you have a completely different character or maybe just going through phases in his life and you can add that to all of these characters so i'm not going to be repetitive and show you all that but it's cool to see right Okay, so I think I'm gonna start wrapping this video up. I don't want these videos to be super long. I want you guys to take in everything that I'm trying to show you here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these two other heads and do the same thing, adding some weight and making them muscular. Here I go. That's it fam. Take what you learned in this video and put it into practice. Down below I have a link to a proportion template that I created for you guys so you can use it as a map to draw your own faces and characters. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, please hit the like button. It will help me grow this channel and get it in front of a lot more people who might also enjoy it. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As a treat for you all, I will be giving away an Illo sketchbook to a random subscriber each month. So don't miss out. Thanks again and see you on the next one.